No, no, I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to fight anyone. We'll just run away. Thank you. We want to be fully, fully healed. We may never know what that was. Oh, jeez. Mm. Do I actually want it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to... You know, I have enough health that I should be able to... I should be able to be good. We... I will have to use PSI to even, like, sustain a good enough damage. I mean, good enough health. Oh, jeez. Um... Probably should have used another PK attack though. Yeah, let's use another PK attack. Okay, that should be very good. That's that's good. Okay, let's continue on to the next room. All right, this boss, um, okay. This boss is very infamous for people who play this game and you'll see why. Jealous base, is it, you know, is it base or is it? That's base, right? Bass is the fish. Yeah, bass is the fish. This base is the, the music one. As you can plainly see, I am a wooden base. I am still in my prime. You know, I was in band, I should probably know this. <laughs> but ever since the base below showed up, I've been left to run this moldy smone attic. Urgh. I've felt with so much frustration. I'm gonna make turn this uh, frustration into violence to take my stress out on you guys. You're gonna be bawling your eyes out. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll fight in the band. Okay, so the key to this boss is to take out its both its minions as fast as possible. Because the base can do an attack where he attacks with his minions and then he can and then the minions can attack by themselves at the same time. So you just want to go hard into PK love and then you also want to use sprinting bombs or is thunder bombs better? I think sprinting bombs are better just because you know this is why if you wanted to get a pencil bomb one of those pencil rockets for this it probably may even be better i honestly i just i don't i forget which one of those are better so 70 100 that's that's really good damage yeah so yeah this is what i was talking about i was not fast enough for them to do that but if it doesn't do that attack again it will be so good okay um hmm. So that ro that drum is almost dead. I think I'm going to Oh yeah, Lucas has life up now. I completely forgot. Bony's almost dead already. Oh, how do I want to do this? I want to do I need to do defense up, but I also don't I can't let Bony die. So I think what I'm going to do is that I'm going to heal Bony and then Bony's going to use another sprinting bomb. Oh shoots. Okay, yeah. Offense increased by 23. It's not good. Okay. So we are going to do defense up for, ah, uh, it only affects one person. Guess we would do it on Lucas. <laughs> and we will use this final thunder bomb on it because why not? That, yeah, that doesn't do much. Oh no, don't, no. No, you, oh, I, mm, I don't have any, cannot wake him up. Okay. 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 Um This is this is not how I wanted it to be. Okay. Um Okay. It, well, we might have sacrificed Lucas. Yeah. I mean, sacrifice Bony, not Lucas. 
Okay. Uh. This is not how I wanted it to go. Please, no. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's, let's do it again. Okay, we need to heal. We need to heal. We need to get... Don't. Don't. Oh. oh, every time I see the hypnosis, I get scared for my life. I really do. Okay, um, let's do regular attacks now. Uh, I'm still super scared of dying. I will tell you the truth. Yeah, um, down to two H 62 HP now. Let's just use another of these sprinting bombs. Please, please just die. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, that boss, if you don't know what you're doing, is super hard. Even when I did know what I was doing right there, I... I almost lost. <laughs> I almost lost for sure. And none of those experiences going to Boney. I am so sorry, Boney. Whew. Okay, now that I got that nightmare out, out of the way. Can I, um... Is there no uh, room to the... To the right? No, okay, yeah, okay. What took you so long? Anyways, I just finished explaining everything to the band members. Oh, really? Cool. Um, don't mind if I... Can I, like, um, rest here? No, I can't. That's fine. There's not a pillow on it, that's why. How much DP do I have anyways? 2,000? Okay. Not, not gonna get it yet, but it's good to know that I have it. Tonda Gossa. So, you're the one who's trying to run off Lucky. Yeah. Yes, I am. I like Lucky. The new wooden ba base. Pretty cool looking. Oh man, what to do? Whew. We're discussing things right now. Tonda Gossa. Who are you? He's the one I was just I was talking about just now duster you know you two know each other we lived in the same village duster it's true that i don't remember my real name but i've lived my life my life as lucky for years now okay all right lucky i hate to ask but could you tell him everything you remember too yeah all right i can definitely tell that something very important has taken place here I had absolutely no memory whatsoever from before I came to Club Titaboo. I had no idea who I was, where I came from, or where I was going. But for some reason, I was kept clutching a strange egg with great care. I don't, I didn't know where I was going, yet I continued to walk desperately. All I knew f was that the egg was really important for some reason. I knew I absolutely had to keep it safe, so I looked uh, for a place to hide it. And then, after walking and walking, I buried the egg inside of a big dirt clod in a valley where I knew no one would ever find it. I still don't know where it is. I haven't forgotten. Oh, I still know where it is. You go up to a cliff near a giant waterfall and... A known valley. That's it, Duster. The egg we all work so hard to protect is there. Let's go there right now. But am I really Duster? If I am this Duster person, that means I have to leave the band, right? Duster or Lucky, one that will cease to exist after today, right? If I don't, if it turns out I'm Duster, what happens to the DCMC? But if I continue to live as lucky, then what was the ego thing all about? 
What should I do? I just can't decide. Of course you can't. All you need, all you can do is ask Destiny. Yeah, if Destiny decides it, I'll say goodbye to you with a smile on my face. Destiny, huh? Yeah, let's ask Destiny. We have a way. The same thing we've always done whenever we weren't sure what to do. Stone sheet clippers, huh? <laughs> Yep, this Lucas fellow will play Stone Sheet Clippers with us. If he beats all five of us in a row, you'll go. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> but if he loses even once, you'll stay in the DCMC and keep on playing the ba base. I feel like this is stacked up against me. How's that sound? Five in a row, huh? I'm cool with that. You there. You okay with that, right? No. No, I guess I am, okay. You can start with any one of us. Okay, I'm gonna start with you. For the most part, everyone always does a specific move first, uh, specific first move when playing this game. That explains why Bastille loves, loses to magic. You ready to go? Yes. Okay, here we go, stone sheet clippers. Oh, I lose. I lose with pizzazz, okay. Shimmy almost always starts with stone. It's up to you to believe that or not, though. Ready to go? Yes. Stone she clippers. <gasps> no, Tondagasa. You were too late on that one. Come on now, Destiny is right on this. Let's go at the same time. <laughs> stone she clippers. I lose. Luck is with you. Oh, that was very fortunate. I always wind up tying whenever I play stone she clippers with Shimmy. All right, let's do this thing. Um, let's see, what did he pick? He picked rock, so I'll use paper again. Gah, I won't complain. You win. I seem to recall that whenever me, Magic, and our band leaders play Stone Sheet Clippers, we're always up in a tie. Ready to go? Yes. Is it the best if I win? No, leave that up to Destiny. Ah, chew, sniffle. Uh, sorry, do over. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like I lose. I guess Destiny is telling me to lose. You ready? Yes. If I win this, Lucky will stay in the DCMC. If you win, Lucky will go with you. Lucky, you cool with that? I want to trust in Destiny. It's my destiny to go, then I'm sure he'll win. And if, it's, and if it's not my destiny, he'll lose and I'll stay here. It's as simple as that. Okay then, Lucas, do clippers. I'm gonna do sheets. Is this a trick? Tonda Gossa. All right, here we go. Uh, what should you tell me to do again? <laughs> This is why we need, um, uh, this is why we need a uh, rock, paper, scissors anime. Look how, look how intense this was. <laughs> I guess Lucky's problem is that, I guess Lucky is, probably is his duster guy after all. Go, don't worry about anything else at all. I think duster hit the egg in Unknown Valley, which means I have no reason to stay here anymore, either. Alright, time to get out of these girl clothes. Thanks for everything, guys. Take care now. Out of my way, damn it. Oh my gosh. Lucky. No duster, I guess. You were the greatest bass player ever. I'm gonna miss you, man. Did du Duster even play the bass before even coming here? Hmm. Needs to think about. I'm sure we will meet. Don't you forget the time you spent with us, you dig? Lucky. It's 
don't remember anything, but I'll come with you guys anyways. Okay, let's go. Duster joined your party. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Okay. I took care of these bodyguards. Yeah, you took care of them, all right. Why couldn't we have just done that and skip the attic? You know, that been... Okay. <laughs> awesome, we getting the party back together again! So, let's see, can you go in these doors? Okay. For some reason, Lucas started to feel foolish. Again? Not complaining, but good. Okay, probably can't go in these rooms. Nope, no chimneys. Okay, that's fine. Does this say anything? No, okay. You unlock the door. Keep out. What is it? There's someone on the stage. Oh. Bon voyage, amigo. Oh, guy in the sky, please grant a gift to our friend who's about to set out. How much time we wasted laughing together. But, guy in the sky, oh, how we love that wasted time and those helpless smiles. Bon voyage. Bon voyage, amigo. Every new beginning starts with some other beginning's end. Tonda Gossa. Thanks, guys. It was a wig the entire time. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny, but it is. Yo, Dasha, your wig is gone. How did you know it was my wig? I don't. Yeah, how can I not know? Okay, sorry. Keep you waiting. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's go to Unknown Valley. Is that the Pigeon 2 West, I believe? Hop. Hello, I'm a frog. Should I record everything that's happened so far? Yes. Wait, is this the end of a chapter? Oh, it is the end of a chapter. Oh. I thought actually there was more to this chapter, to be honest. Um, well, that's kind of awkward. It's kind of below what I, uh, I planned for this recording session. Or, not this session, but, um, this episode. Um, you know, we'll give, we'll give you a short one today, I guess. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll splice some of the next episode with this one. Who knows? Um, anyways, I hope you enjoy that. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And be excited for Chapter 5 of Mother 3. Because this... This is when things really, really start to ramp up. And I mean, I mean it by a lot. <laughs> All right. See ya next time. Bye-bye.